product not yet rated. Alright ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the teaser trailer that was released at E3 by Telltale Games for The Walking Dead 400 Days, which is apparently going to be a new episode. And um, after season 1 of The Walking Dead, they said that they would create season 2. Well, it seems like season 2 is taking them longer than they expected it to take them, because they're trying to tie it into season 1 I'm guessing. So, they decided to release a, release a new episode for season 1. I don't know if you want to call this episode 6 or bonus episode or whatever you want to call it. But this is going to be called 400 Days. And this is set to come out in July for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, and iOS. Now, um, PS Vita will actually get The Walking Dead Season 1 and this bonus episode um, in August. They announced that PS Vita will finally get The Walking Dead Season 1 and this bonus episode all together in one bundle in August. So this episode is going to be $5 and it's going to come out sometime in July. We don't got a release date yet. But we saw, during E3, we saw a trailer for it. Now, what, um, I'm guessing it's Ego or something. Some guy at Telltale Games announced Richard Ego said that players can start 400 days without having played any of Season 1. But, he warned against it for those who want the full effect. So basically, what that means is whatever you did in Season 1 of The Walking Dead, it will have some kind of impact in 400 days. That's all he said. It's going to have some kind of impact in 400 days. And the choices you make in 400 days will impact Season 2. So I recommend and he recommends that... Whatever, if you play season one on like PS3 or something, continue it in PS3. Just so your choices will matter. And once season two finally comes out, the choices you make in 400 days will impact. Now, what 400 days is going to be about is it says the DLC features five new characters in five separate stories. So they're introducing five new characters. And having five different stories. So it's just like episodes one through five. Except it's just going to be in one complete episode. It says with a truck stop as the connective, connective tissue. So it says that the truck, st the truck stop is near events in season one of The Walking Dead. Making it easy, geographically at least, to include previous player choices in four the days and beyond. Now I'm reading this from a joystick article. I would link this in the description if you want to check it out yourself. But he also, Ego also said at E3 
the sum of the characters that you meet in this bonus episode might end up in season two of The Walking Dead. Anyway, I'm excited for this episode. I used to play The Walking Dead on the PS3. Now I got buy it somehow on PC just to play 400 days. But yeah, it's going to run for five dollars, and it's coming out sometime in July. We don't got a specific re release date, but all this week, stay tuned to E3 and Telltale Games Facebook page and Twitter page and all that, and you'll catch updates for this. I'm excited for this episode. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out, but you can best believe I am going to be doing a Let's Play on The Walking Dead 400 Days. Anyway guys, just wanted to make this complete, or just wanted to make this update real, really quick, and yeah. I can't wait for July in order to play The Walking Dead 400 Days, and I really can't wait for the Season 2 of The Walking Dead. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this, and I am out of here. Peace.